How's it going everybody? It is Lockhart here and today I am excitedly wanting to talk about solo leveling and um, the game solo leveling arise. I absolutely love the manhwa um, and I didn't get too heavy into the light novel because I was told that majority the manhwa did pretty well. So for me, I've read the manhwa like twice, I want to say, and I'm like collecting the books as they come out and they get released, which is super awesome. But um, I am really, I'm very impressed. So let's take a look at the trailer. Let's just start with the trailer because um, it is super awesome. And um, yeah. I know it's a net marble game. I know people will have their apprehensions with it, but iconic bad guy. First time going to the dungeon. Yeah, he was not that cool going in first. I'm pretty sure. Yes, and the battle with Ignis. I'm pretty sure he didn't look that cool yet. But wait, there's more. Epic. This is an actual in-game scene. Here we go. Ooh. Wait for it. Ah, oh, I really, really, I really, 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 really hope that this game comes out uh, this year because that would be amazing. Taking a look at the website, they have some characters here. So we have, of course, Song Jin Woo, S rank, but you know that that's not how we start. If you've ever read the manga, I don't want to spoil anything, so I don't want to dig too deep into it. But I love the choices of characters so far. You have MC, of course, who's super epic. And a cool thing about MC is that they did a cool little spin-off in this game. Um, because you're thinking like, you know, like what could they do with MC that's different? Well, let me show you. What if he used something else? Oh, I can't. I like, I just can't deal. I simply cannot handle the amount of coolness right now coming from this game. And uh, and then you have Cha Heian, and then Jong In Choi. And this character to me is super cool for two reasons. One, I've always loved mages and mage type characters, especially mage type characters. I just have like a little bit of more like physicality to them and a little bit more finesse. So if we take a look at him, I feel like I'm not sure yet. I don't want to say they do him justice yet. Just, just get ready to feel. Oh, 
I think it's all. I think it's all right. I liked. I like him as a character uh, in the books, and I'm very curious as to how he'll play. I'm hoping it'll be a lot faster than that. That looks very slow. Um, Yunho. Uh, I don't want to give it away. That's the, the, maybe they say something here a little about him. Anyway, he has the ability called Beast Transformation, which is badass. He's also an S rank hunter. And then you have Tegu, who is super cool. Um, don't want to go too deep into that. <laughs> and, and this guy. <laughs> I don't want to go too deep into his story either. But uh, yeah. And then Park Heejin, who is. Uh, it's fine. Whatever. But I was so interested to see that Lee Juhi is in it. Um, mostly because. And not just, you know, just for anybody who reads it, like, you would think more of, like, this character initially. And you're thinking, like, okay, there's a lot of, like, potential for character development and stuff like that. And, like, it just doesn't happen because, like, man, more, like, sideline, let's just say that. And then also, like, him. I was also very surprised to see that he's... A character because I feel like why I'm glad to see that uh, Jinho is in it um, because I, I liked him as a character and I feel like he deserved a little bit more but it's just nice to see him there like uh, they, they, they don't give his rank but I think he's like he's like C rank <laughs> I might be wrong uh, embarrassingly um, but yeah, super cool. And then uh, and, uh, Sung Jin would like, you know, they say like S rank, but that's like his S rank form. And then when he starts off, he's like, he starts off as F rank. And so there's so many videos and it's super nice that they're just giving you like, hey, we're trying to stay really true to the source material here. And so they're showing like the game cutscenes to go with like the manual panels. And I'm not going to lie, I think that they're spicing it up like really well with making it look good. You can see that in, you can see here um, that he has uh, not as much gear. So this is like really close to, uh, to source material, right? Which is nice. Um, but like the battle with Ignis... Um, is not necessarily like the same so i am sincerely hoping you know that uh i'm sincerely hoping that this game is going to come out this year i would love nothing more than to just play this game i love it because i i'm waiting for the rest of solo leveling to be oh well no i guess it was it was like the after stories um, that happened in the light novels. And they did bring it into the manuals, um, which was nice. But there's a lot of content here if you guys want to just scroll through it, take a look at all the characters and stuff like that. And um, like even like Ignis, he looks hella cool. He looked cool in the, um, in the manual. But in the manual, there's way more shading. So like there's no definition to his armor, but he looks badass here. And Ignis is like, you know, he's like OG for MC. Super OG. So he has like a interesting ties to the main character. So well, you know, I'm really hoping that Netmarble delivers and doesn't break any hearts here because um, I would love to see more of it uh, because it's a, I think just for me this is more of like a, I might end up being one of those people who will be like oh I hate this game I can't believe how did they do this to the game like why would they do that you know what I mean I don't know but uh, I'm very curious you know like when they first introduced the potential for a solo leveling mobile game um, they they didn't have too many characters. They had um, 
who do they have at the time? I guess it would have been just Chayan is who you saw for a little, or uh, uh, Heian is who you see for a little bit. Um, and for sure, uh, Jinwoo and I think that was it in like that first trailer from like a million years ago. But now that there's like all these like comparative trailers to show you like what's going on. Like, yeah, like, like here, let's just go back just a frame. Like there, the, it, it was really well drawn and obviously manuals are like deeply colored, but you don't see like the definition of armor that you see here, which I think is just sick. And then you see like him um, and he's different. And even like the way he looks is like way more beat up. There's more like he has more. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? He has more details knee pads like his shoes are like well detailed so it looks a little bit more uh well defined right even the sword right you have like this plain ass long sword and then here it's just like you know it is a plain long sword but it looks a little different and then and then they do like some comics in with like the the game graphics right and i think that's just they got me. They got me. I'm waiting now. And I really wish I didn't discover this, like all of this, all of these videos. But um, I am excited at the same time. So anyway, let me know what y'all think. Are y'all like, do you guys even like solo leveling? Like, is this even a thing for you? Because for me, like it's a beloved like franchise. I enjoy quite a bit. Like I'm very excited. I'm like super ex I'm trying to tone myself down so that way like when the game comes out I'm not deeply disappointed but yeah I'm like <laughs> I'm, I'm so like yeah I'm so excited oh my god look they even have little what that's nuts um anyway so you have that you go on the website and there are some background character stories um, that you can just take a look at if you like. Oh my God. Wow. So there it is. But, uh, let me know what y'all think. And, and enjoy some screensavers because these screensavers look super nice. Ooh. If you've watched until this point, please like, and subscribe, share, blah, blah, blah. All that fun stuff. Uh, would love to get some feedback about, um, what y'all think and, and where y'all at? Oh my goodness. Like this scene? This scene was epic for me. Because this was like... Okay, sorry. I know I was just signing off. But like the first time he really goes hard. You know? And it be, it's like an all-out brawl where he has to use all of his shadows. I'm just curious as to how that will play out. Like will summoning his shadows be a big portion of the game? Like, if so, then then what is the point of using other characters? Is this going to be like PGR and like Genshin and all those games, Tower of Fantasy, where you have to like, you can sw switch between three players, which in my mind is like pointless because I would just use MC because like, I, I love the MC. Like, no matter how cool everybody else is. And so it's like, and, and then MC has a like crazy power progression too. He's got like so many forms and, and so many stages in the manual that he could improve but this was like an epic part of it and his shadows are like a huge part of this moment in the manual so it's like i'm very curious or is it going to be like pgr where you're going to have three characters on the field and it's just going to be like a you know like a huge battle so it's like very curious like i've just got i've just got so many questions and i don't even know i don't even know where to start and this is like here we go like the original like one of the first things that you would have ever seen um if you got into solo leveling that was like cover page and whatnot Ah, so many questions like i don't uh well we'll see how it develops it's going on first i mean this was only four months ago so this is the this is four months from like what like two years ago or something like that i guess they don't have too much other than this it's just like um the two different languages that they're just kind of tossing around so let me know what y'all think um i'm very curious i'm hoping that it's going to be good and um 
Thanks so much. Have a good night. <laughs>